I live a very sheltered life and I, um, born into a very um, um, good family and so I don't really need to worry about anything. Um, it's more like what does my father or my parents want me to do then I'll just do accordingly. And uh, so when I got married, it's sort of like the same pattern, you know, I just um, do whatever my husband would like me to do. And I think that's my way of loving him. So, so, um, so you know, my, my hope, I'm just so simple-minded. My hope is like, it's all I want to do is to, to be a good wife to my husband and to be a good mother to my children. So, um, so when the divorce came, um, it, it, my dreams are all shattered. Right after the divorce, I was just totally overwhelmed with what do I do now? And, and uh, it's a new life that I'm a single parent with three children. At that time, it's uh, 15, uh, 15, 13, and yeah, eight months old. So. I, I felt like, okay, I really don't know how to handle life anymore. Um, constantly gripped with fear, um, and because of the fear also, um, the depression sets in. So I'm sort of like going faces in and out of depression, and at times it can be very severe, severe that, um, that uh, I need medication and, um, and anxiety attack and all that. So. So it was a very dark moment in my life. That was before I met Christ. I got baptized two years after I received Christ. Um, I don't want it to be sort of like, uh, it's, uh, everybody's doing it, I, I'm doing it. I really want to know what I am baptizing into. So I was totally ready by that two, after two years. And I was asking, my pastor and, and say, when is the next baptism? And um, so after that, I don't see, you know, it's not that evident the changes in myself, but after three months, I really noticed something different. And I, and I asked my pastor, I said, um, just some, I don't know what happened, but somehow as I'm reading the Bible now, which I do every day, I said, it comes alive. It's as if somebody's really you know, leading me, teaching me, explaining all those lines to me. Whereas before, when I read the Bible, it's just words, and I am trying to understand what this author is writing. Whereas after baptism, now I know the Holy Spirit that's in me is really explaining. After all, you know, it's God that wrote the book, and so it's ex the author is explaining what his will, his purpose, his, 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 his love letter, you know, to me. That's how I receive it. And that's the drawing power that draws me to that book every day. And it, it's not like I have to remind myself to read the Bible anymore. Before I know it, I am just so drawn. It, it is just, I learn so much. It's as if somebody is really talking me, to me and teaching me and leading me and just sharing life with me. God has uh, led me to, to understand. Uh, it's uh, when I was gripped with fear, when I was constantly in depression. And, and um, as well, I was reading a book, like, like The Mighty Wind, there is one scripture in there that really jumped out. And it is 2 Timothy 1.7. Somehow that scripture means so much to me. And somehow I'm led to just, whenever I'm gripped with fear, I just remember that scripture because it's very simple, one sentence. God did not give me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And I just use that scripture over and over whenever I'm gripped with fear. Sometimes it might be 20 some times per day. And whenever I'm gripped with fear, I just somehow that scripture comes to mind and I say it and somehow as the time goes, as time goes by, I sense so much peace as I'm saying it. At first it's just saying, saying some words. At the end, at the end of my healing period, you know, um, God has used that verse to really heal me of my fear. At the very end, I can really say it with so much passion and I just say, no, 
whenever fear comes back again, I said, nope, God didn't give me a spirit of fear. He gave me a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. And like right that moment, it's just something changes inside me. I just have that confidence and I know that, no, fear doesn't belong to me. I'm not receiving it. And, and that's when I realized, wow, that's the power of God's Word.